Reflection for Sunday, December 11, Third Sunday of Advent, Matthew chapter 11, verse 2 to 11. What do you do when you are in a difficult situation? There's a lot of second guessing as to why did John, while in prison, sent his followers to Jesus to ask him if he is the one. Perhaps John wanted Jesus to help him to bolt out of prison. Perhaps John wanted to be assured of Jesus' support because to begin with, he baptized Jesus in the River Jordan. Jesus affirmed the question by saying to John's followers, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind regain their sight. The lame walk. Leapers are cleansed. The deaf hear. The dead are raised. And the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. Perhaps the disciples of John were expecting Jesus to say, Let's go to John and reassure him of my support in whatever way possible. But he did not. Jesus then said, Blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. Possibly to say to John's followers, Don't get disappointed if I will not help John in his most difficult time. We may also have this feeling of being abandoned by Jesus, and we may also have questions like, Why is this happening to me and my family, considering that I am following God? Why am I still poor and in difficult predicament when I am faithfully following God? We may have countless whys before God. We may have this emotion of being abandoned by Jesus in our most difficult time as well. So what must we do if we are in this situation? We must continue to follow Jesus. We must continue to be faithful to Him even if He seems to be far and unconcerned with us. We must not veer away from Jesus and not blame Him for whatever difficulties that we are in. To follow Jesus or to always pray to Jesus is not an assurance that we would be free from trials and persecutions. And John is the best evidence of this for the reason that John humbly and faithfully followed Jesus. Yet he was persecuted, imprisoned, and beheaded. Will you still follow Jesus amidst your trials and difficulties?